Hello everyone, good evening to you. Imagine this, we might pretty much be more or less on time. How awesome is that? <laughs> um, wow. <laughs> Bear with me guys. Um, I know that this is going to be on a bit loud, isn't it? Why won't it move? Hello everyone, I hope you're all well. For some reason, my... My iPad that was working perfectly fine has decided now not to. So that's good, isn't it? It's a good start. Hello everyone, I can see people joining. Oh, I wonder if it'll let me just... Just share this, yes. Um, okay, let's try this again. There always has to be one glitch. Hello everyone, I can see people joining. Um, hopefully I'll be able to see your comments real soon. Just got um, to get to the right point on um, my iPad and then I'll be able to see you all. For some reason Facebook's being a bit weird. Hmm. Like I say, it's been absolutely fine um, until this very second. I feel like I'm fated. How are we all this evening? Are we all nice and warm and snug and cosy? Because even if I can't see anything, then I shall, I shall just have to persevere, won't I? Oh, here we go. We have, we have some sort of activity. Hello everyone, um, I can't see who's joined but I surely will soon because we seem to be on the move. Ah, here we go. Let me just turn off my noise. Yay! And we're in! Woohoo! Hello everyone, how are you all? How's everyone doing this evening? Okay, so Lucy says that she's been doing an exercise class and she can't hear me for the next 45 minutes. Oh, right, so you, you are multitasking. That's very cool. Um, I, I have my um, snuggly warm blanket on my knee. Or I'm, I'm fighting with it at the moment because um, it's got itself all tangled up while I was stood up there. Um, let's have a look, see who's with us then. I can see we've got a good... A good group with us. Elaine's with us. Hello, you made it. Bless you. Thank you so much. I know a lot of you, it's a struggle um, juggling all your other um, roles and responsibilities, being mums and homeschooling and, and, uh, and so on. Um, and doing exercise classes, apparently, <laughs> which is very, very exciting. Um, hello to Simon and Vanessa. Julie's with us, Natalie's with us, Shabnies. Um, Annalise is going for a walk soon. Of course, it's daytime where you are. It's pitch black here, Annalisa. Um, Anne Marie's got her PJs on with a hot water bottle under a fluffy throw with a cup of tea. Perfect. That is absolutely the perfect way to do this. Hello to Emma, Alison. So that's that's check for one, Alison, I think. That's my first Alison so far. <laughs> um, Angie's with us. Hello, Angie. How are you? Jess, Siobhan, Laura, Ann, um, Alison Green. So that's two two Alisons. <laughs> that's two two Alisons checked off. Hello, Michael. I shall let you know what's coming shortly. Bear with. Um, yes, I've I got a hot water bottle for Christmas, and. Um, Yes, I definitely um, have enjoyed using my hot water bottle, let me tell you. Um, and um, Vanessa is colouring while she watches. Awesome. So I am short on a couple of Alisons, actually, but I think we're going to have to crack on, aren't we? Because um, I'm sure they'll join us if they can. Or, of course, you can watch the replay. So... I also have a cup of tea that is very quickly going cold. Um, 
so these are obviously some of the cows we've made over the last couple of days um, which um, are awesome Claire's already ready to shop I love it um, so today is the last day but there is still loads to show you and um, a couple of um, crafty makes that I'm going to do for you as well today if, I, if hopefully we'll get chance and we'll get through everything um, and as uh, just a little reminder for everyone who might not have watched before who um, might be new to Time for Tea um, and new to the sneak peeks um, this is the third of the of the sneak peeks that we're doing before the release goes live tomorrow morning I can't believe it's Friday already so tomorrow morning um, the uh, new release will go live um, from nine o'clock Jess is crafting alone mum on video call is also watching I love that you watch together that's really cool drinks at the ready and in PJs and dressing gown all comfy oh, I love that and Elisa says she knows what's coming, but she's still excited. <laughs> I love that. Um, and Claire's watching while bathing the kid. What could possibly go wrong? Good Lord. I dread to think. Um, so, a little note that I need to just make uh, before we begin. Um, from yesterday's um, live. So, yesterday um, I showed you the workout pigs. Our little workout piggies. Um... And I forgot to mention that there is also going to be um, a coordinating digi stamp set with this. So um, this is something that we mentioned on the first of the sneak peeks is that for each of the stamp sets this time around, I had too many images and not enough space um, for to include them in the stamp set. So and I didn't want to just waste them because they were too good to waste, really. Um, and I could see you guys using them. Obviously, there are no dies to go with these, so you will have to um, fussy cut these um, and print them out on your print on your home printer. But you will get um, a JPEG file with these images on, so they'll be easy to cut out. They're spaced so that you can cut them out easily um, and fit with your um, larger, just so that you can see it on screen. Um, but it actually, they will actually be smaller so that they coordinate with the stamps and fit from a size perspective with your stamps. As they're digi stamps, you could manipulate them and make them larger. If you wanted to that's entirely up to you um, but there's some really great little sentiments in here like namaste in bed running late is my card which goes with some of the um the the stamps that you've already got in the set but also there's an extra wine there's a little uh, like smoothie um bottle or um and then there's a carrot and uh, an apple for any anybody who is really following an actual diet <laughs> Um, so you could use those in your planners and so on so uh, I just wanted to let you know about that because I forgot to mention that yesterday and there will be a, a, a coordinating uh, digi, digi kit um, with this uh, set tonight the sta final stamp set that I'm going to show you um, they will be um, they will be free um, on the website um, for um, for a limited period. So um, if you if you like those and you bought that you're buying the stamp set, then grab them. Um, Michael, we will be doing bundles on the new range. I haven't done them yet <laughs> on the website, so I'm going to be up quite late tonight. I think finishing those off. But yes, there will be bundles available on um, the new set, so that you can make a saving if you buy um, you know things um, in a group. Now, I did show you these last night, these add-on uh, dies. And we actually made this really cool card with the lift the flap um, add-on die. And I mentioned at the time that um, it actually comes with um, the ones that I've got have um, a, like um, an embossed line or um, a score line around the outside edge, which they weren't supposed to. So they were, um, this was an error in the samples. And I've just ha had a message this morning, well, I say this morning, it was in the middle of the night because um, the people that we deal with in China, it's the middle of the night, um, is their working time. Um, to say that they were came to ship these and found that they'd actually done the full production with the incorrect file. So they'd produced all of the, the the dies that I'd ordered incorrectly and like the sample that I received 
and not by the, the file that I approved, which means they all have to be redone. <laughs> ah. So what that means is um, these will be delayed to the store. All the other dies are on their way and we have mentioned that there will be a, a short delay in the dies getting to you. They are on extended delivery till the beginning of next week now I imagine, although they could come um, sooner. Um, but these are likely to be um, mid to late February now because of um, it is Chinese New Year. Um, and so everybody goes on holiday um, in China, all the factories shut down for um uh for almost a month actually they shut down the end of next week and they don't re they, a lot of them don't come back until the end of february so um so yeah so it's it's going to take a bit of time uh, for these to come in so really sorry about that guys but something to look forward to um and i guess it means now if you were rumming and ahhing about what you were going to buy this is one less option and you can you can delay this until they're available a bit later on <laughs> so um so yes so that's that's a bit of a shame but i did just need to let you know that because obviously we looked at that yesterday it is super frustrating um and you know I, Michael maybe I could sell them but also maybe I could be stuck with a lot of stock that I couldn't sell and I still have to pay for them so I'm paying twice for something that I don't really need so um, and as it's their error unfortunately they are having to put it right but it just means a little bit of a delay um, so yeah it is a shame and the thing is they are so lovely um, and great that they spotted it before they sent it out um, Danielle says she'll be shopping under the table whilst you're homeschooling tomorrow. That's really cool. I like that. Um, so, um, Alice, um, oh, yes. I, I, Annalisa, I hope they can recycle the materials. I don't know if they can. Um, yes, there are two Alison Greens in the world, I believe. The, yes, two Alison Greens. Um, so yeah, all of the Alisons. <laughs> Here's the Alison register. <laughs> yes, so Shadley's, that's cool. Right, so let's move on to the first of the, well, the last of the stamp sets for this reveal. And it's a cutie, you're gonna love it. So this is the Happy Mail Critters. And they are super, super cute. Um, so, um, you have in this set your your little critters here, um, a little raccoon, a little dog, and a little kitty, um, and a little bird, um, who are all delivering their mail. Um, and this, like I, I said yesterday, the whole of this um, this uh, release has been around sending love and hugs and thoughts to the people that we're not getting to see so much. And this one again is a really good one for being able to send that at any time of year, just sending some love and hugs. Of course you could use it for Valentine's, but you can send it to friends and family members that you've not seen for a long time. So it's got the uh, the mailbox here, which is more of an American style mailbox. And I did that because I actually think they're cuter to colour and draw. Um, than than the English ones and you know it does restrict it if you use an English style post box um, they're not as um, recognized I don't know well I guess they are well recognized but I just like the American style post box <laughs> um, you have the little postage stamp um, the made with love fits within the postage stamp as well so you can actually have that as a separate little um, little stamp um, to perhaps pop on the back of an envelope when you're sending to someone or on the back of your card to say that it's been made with love which is really cool um, you've got a little box on its own so you can build a stack of boxes with that if you wanted to or just have the one box on its own you have an envelope with a little note card inside with the little heart on it like I say we've got the bird carrying an envelope the kitty here can be carrying um, a box or the envelope there can be holding the postage stamp um, we have the dog carrying his parcel and we have the raccoon carrying a letter a stack of parcels already built there that have got the sentiment with love already on the front 
and then the other sentiments we've got we've got happy mail which has got an open pe uh, portion for you to be able to colour um, thinking of you sending paper hugs and then we've got smiles and hello so you could have sending smiles as well as the paper hugs so um, and then two little hearts as well um, so loads of different combinations that you can use with this set lots of different things that you could do with it um, I um, have only really managed to make one card so far although I have got an idea for a card that I'd like to make uh, later on if we've got time and this is um i've used the little heart there i've just stamped that in color and die cut that and then um had popped that in the hand of our little kitty there and the raccoon at the bottom this is the die that we showed on day one which is the lots of love cover plate die and this is the paper hugs die that we showed you yesterday and i've just cut that out of some um glittery cardstock i've used the thinking of you sentiment there and the the little bird um, and I've done some ink blending in my background and I've just mounted that onto some foam so die cut my uh, cover plate in foam as well to make it easy for me to add dimension there um, you could make that into a shaker card as well you do have all of the coordinating dies here um, I believe in the uh, set that is um, is on its way that will be um, open um, rather than being a solid piece so that you can see where you're positioning it but you can um, if, it, if it is still like this which I, I don't think it is but if you cut that out of cardstock first and then use that as a, a way of lining up your next one once you've stamped it that makes that much easier there is a die that cuts out the word smile hello and the happy mail as well so that cuts out those sentiments that uh, that you see there which is good and then i've used the banner that was in yesterday's uh, die set from the um the be kind and be you set so this banner die here um works perfectly with the thinking of you sentiment in that set so everything does work together um you know i have said said before that I, you know i do really try and think about how you're going to use your sets together and how you're going to be able to mix and match them so um so yes yeah, so that's um that's really cool um let's have a look sending paper hugs with a hello perfect you can mix and match them all together it's really great um <laughs> Alison number four is here, hooray! <laughs> um, these cuties will be so good for birthdays too with all, all their mailings. Absolutely, they, you know, you can use them for so many different occasions. And I think that the characters are generic enough for you to be able to use them for, for all different types of cards. They're not just loved up cards. But obviously with this background, it makes them very loved up. Um, so that's my my card for for that um, for that set. So that's the the, the stamp set um, that we're showing you this evening. And then the next the next set then that I've got to show you to, tonight. Um, well, there's two more sets, two standalone die sets. This doesn't look very impressive in the way that I've got it. Hi Zamara, how are you? Because this is my sample set. So again, it doesn't look very impressive, and you're probably looking at it and thinking what on earth is that <laughs> um this is your mailbox gift card holder um and it looks amazing so let me show you what this part of this will create so this is my gift card holder now the accessories that you see on the top are from the add-on set that comes with this which I'll show you in a minute and is awesome um, but the set but what you get in this set creates your base essentially so um, it will create your your back back base here and I've made mine into a card so it will stand but you don't have to do that you can just have it as a, a, a flat image um, it has the little the little uh, mechanism that uh, that stops your flap. We're back to flaps again, Danielle. I'm so sorry. <laughs> from uh, from 
it's dropping open you have a little handle you have your mat and layers to create your door and you have a die that will cut this door with a with the uh, score line at the bottom that creates your hinge and you're going to open the door and then you will also get the die that creates this um, little mechanism here that is the perfect size to hold a standard gift card which is like a credit card size so it's just got the little flaps there and if I can just maneuver that to go inside there we go and that will hold that snugly so it doesn't fall out um, and that then goes back in there and you put your little your little mechanism back over the top you just pop a little hole in it um, for your brad and that will keep that closed and you also get the big bow and the little ribbon um, tied to tie it to the front so that's what you get as part of your basic um, builder set now this um, the, the the little mechanism that cuts this piece here to hold your gift card um, you can actually use for anything um, so if you wanted to make uh, just add a slot for your gift cards anyway then you can um, on any of your cards that you make so you don't you're not restricted to using it it's like I say it's a standard size and it's a free um, standing die on its own so you would just position that where you would want that on your um, on your card um, and then you've got created yourself a little gift card holder so that's really really valuable to have because it means that you can use it for so many different things um, these two larger dies create your um, the actual frame of your uh, of your mailbox this larger die here is the one that has got the so one of the edges is not as raised and you'll see when you get it you'll know which one that is and that is the one that's going to cut your score line so that your door opens you have um, a layer that you can pop on top of that for decoration you have um, this this little die here has got score lines in it that will create your um, uh, your handle for the door so you'll be able to fold as I've done here and then stick those pieces to your door handle um, you get this die here which has got the hole in for your brad to go through all you need to do and all I've actually done um, and, and do be very careful when you do this I've used my pokey tool and a bit of um, blue tack underneath and then just popped a hole through if you've got maybe um, uh, a, a smaller hole punch you could use that so um, so yeah um, that's another way of doing it but re it's really easy to do and then this one is your bow so it, it looks huge but obviously when it's folded up it's a bit smaller it's it, you know obviously it looks a little bit smaller um, but makes a really good focal point on the front of a card as well in the final version there will be tails for this for this die um, sorry I'm a bit high up again aren't I? I need to come a bit further down so um, so yeah so if you um, in the final version there are little tails um, for the for the um, for the bow so if you don't want to use the bit of ribbon that I've used to um, go across the uh, on an angle across the um, layer on the front of my gift uh, uh, front of my door sorry um, you can just attach the tails on the bottom and you could just use this to decorate the front of another card you don't have to use it here on uh, on this card and I'll show you how you put that together um, but that's the bit that creates the ribbon that goes diagonally across the uh, the door there and that's your main bit for your ribbon these tabs at the end are all uh, scored there and the score lines in the middle there and this strange little die here that you might think oh is that what's that being put there for that actually creates the little bit of ribbon that will go across the middle there just to finish that off and make that look neat these those big dies would make a lovely threefold card oh what a great idea um, you'll have to you have to show us what you mean with that because I don't think I've ever made a threefold card 
so so that's the that's the main the main die it does look like a cinema ticket but it will not, it won't actually um it won't cut these bits here these bits of metal here are just attaching the two little circly bits so that they don't they're perfectly positioned so that you don't have to um guess how far apart they need to be i've done that bit for you i've worked out how far apart they need to be for it to hold your gift card comfortably so now you don't have to worry about it you just position that and it will just perfectly um cut out in the right spacing so that's really cool so um so that's um so that's the first bit now i want to show you these bits so these extra bits are the add-ons and this is the add-on die um so the add-on die set again this doesn't look oh and i didn't show you the i'll show you that in a minute i'm so excited that i'm just rushing through this aren't i um this is the die set the add-on die set so again it doesn't look that sexy at the moment because it's on my magnetic sheet now because i've cut everything apart and i've used it and um and played with it and i've absolutely loved every second of it <laughs> um there's loads in here, loads of different accessories, accessories that you will be able to use um, across all of your card making, not just for the gift card holder. So even if you don't want to do the gift card holder, you could still use this set on its own because the, the, the items that are in it are just amazing. So if I do say so myself, I have done, what have I done with it? A little sort of a little card if you like or a little board that shows all of the elements that are on this um, in this die set this add-on die set and you can see that there are just loads so you've got the happy um, the scripty happy with the outline die now what I will tell you which I, I think I mentioned yesterday for a lot of the dies that have that have come to me this this time around, they've they've attached this die to the outer die, which they don't normally do. And I've done a little bit of, and that's really it is is great in one respect because it keeps it positioned inside, and then you can do this this bit here. See on the front of here, that's cut out the letters from the inside and left me the outline. Um, and that makes for a really cool way of using it as well. Um, so you can use that without the internal piece if you want. That's a really cool way of doing it. Um, so, and that's what I've done there. So I've got the outline and then I've got the uh, center portion there. But what you might want to do is use the outline die on its own, either to create an aperture so that you can um, maybe um, layer this up um, you know with a with a bit of dimension um, or you might want to um, just use this as a solid background and then put your your um, your word on top and add some dimension to that um, as a different way of doing it um, so they do come apart this is what I'm saying to you I, it, they are very close together because the outline is very close which is um, what I you know I asked for um, so do be very careful. You can't get your wire snips in there, but you can twist. So if you um, gently um, move the uh, the die and twist it, it will just snap. And there's no sharp edges when you snap it because they are so close together. So And then it will still fit perfectly back together if you still want to do this effect here. So you've actually got three ways of using the dies then. What I would say is if you struggle with your hands, um, don't do that. Just leave it as it is because you don't need to do that. It's just I like to get something extra out of my dies if I can. So um, so that, I just wanted to explain that if anybody was wondering that it is possible. They're very good dies. They're very strong. Um, but yes. Um, and Zamara, we do ship to the USA. Um, it, it can be a bit expensive to ship to you guys. Um, but if you're making a significant order, then it's it's worth the expense, if that makes sense. Um, so obviously, don't just order one thing and pay 
15 pound postage <laughs> um, so um so yes um you have the word mail so you can have happy mail we've got the hello layered up with the scripty hello we've got our little um postage stamps again and the little hearts that you can layer up inside there we have the xo um, which you can double up as XOXO if you want to and again that has an outline and you can use those independently as I've shown with the um, I love you which looks really cool when you paper piece that with different colours um, the U again looks great on, with just the outline on its own cut out I think that looks really cool we've got the four so you can have thank you or for you Different, some different heart shapes so different heart shapes here that you can layer up we've got uh, the little smiley face uh, which you can add on to either any of your hearts you can add on to your postage stamps or you can add on to your envelopes you've got a, a die that will cut out a little note card that fits perfectly inside your envelope so when you put your envelope together then um, you can um, add in this so it's this die here which is just a little rectangle but it's perfectly sized to cut um, a note card that fits into those envelopes once they've been put together and then of course you've got your die here which cuts your your little envelope and that envelope you can use on all kinds of different things so cool um, so yes there are lots of different words that you can spell out <laughs> here um, if you wanted to you can mix and match some of your letters you guys are determined to get an alphabet out of me aren't you at some stage <laughs> I think you might get there so that I think is going to be such a useful set so you can see how I've used it here I've made um, some of the um, couple of the envelopes up in different colored cardstock I've added an XO to that little um, little note card I've got a little postage stamp with a kiss on it a couple of hearts layered up there in the background um, and you could if you wanted to go even bigger and add some on some acetate strips which is really cool um, and then you've got the I love you um, the outline and then another little postage stamp at the bottom and I just think that just looks so impressive um, and I'm going to show you how to put this together as part of the demonstration today. Um, so Zamara says she was thinking to get something but the shipping is higher. I know it is, unfortunately it's such a lot to ship to the US at the moment. It is such a shame. Um, Zamara, if you have got retailers near you who are looking for new craft companies, tell them about Time for Tea um, because I don't, um, I don't uh, stock any stores in the US yet and I would love to. Um, so yeah, get in touch with your local craft store and get them to get in touch um, and then you won't have to pay such high shipping <laughs> um, because I'll just send to them direct and then you can buy from them. Um, which would be the ideal, I think, the ideal scenario. So, um, so that's the that's the add-on. So they're the th they're the sets that I needed to show you tonight, and I've left them as the last ones because um, not only are they so impressive, they are obviously going to take a little bit longer for me to demonstrate um, for you. Um, now, before I move on, I forgot again to show you the digis. So these are the digis that go with the um, Happy Mail Critters. You get another little birdie who is the opposite way to the bird that you've already got, which I think is quite cool um, that you, you can have them um, facing each other. Um, he can still be holding onto a little envelope if you want him to. Um, there's another little box, a couple of little boxes actually that you can stack up together. You have a little pencil, so again the pencil could be held in the mouth of your little uh, bird or could be in the hands of your, your cat. Um, you have a hi and a handmade hello. So again some really cool um, sentiments. Uh, that uh, Sorry I'm just, uh, I got a little bit... Um, distracted by some of your comments trying to keep up but yes yeah, so that that's another little extra element for you to go with your stamps oh we're getting there we're getting there right okay so 
what we all thinking so far are we happy are we happy we um we're liking what we've seen so far hope so um and so now i'm going to show you how to put together the um the gift card so you can see just how easy it is so let me put some of my bits back before I lose them because I've, I have pre-die cut these just to save a bit of time because this is um I guess is a die cut heavy project I mean it's not it's not um you know complicated but you know most of the pieces you're going to die cut rather than um in some of the other demonstrations we do there's more stamping or ink blending that you could ink blend obviously your cardstock which would be great you could use your stencils on it and you can use your pattern papers which is what I've chosen to do here so um, I'll just move this guy out of the way and then we can see what we've got here so these are all the pieces that I've cut now I'm not going to use my bow on the, the um, my gift card this time um, but I'm going to show you how you put it together so that you know. So I have die cut the pieces for it. So I'll pop that to one side um, and we'll come back to that. And these are all the pieces and I've kind of stuck them together so I <laughs> didn't lose them um, because I know what I'm like. Okay, so what we've got here then. So we've got the two, th so these. this is the largest of the dies. You only have one of these dies. Um, Sam says you could make it into a little bo board too like shops of outside oh my god that is so cool that is such a good idea like one of the A boards that you have outside a coffee shop Simon you're an absolute genius because you don't have to cut um, you don't have to cut the uh, little um, the little door I wish I could speak sometimes <laughs> So I've cut two of the large ones and this is how you would make your A board and you would also make your um, your uh, your card base. Um, so I've cut two of them and then one of them I've just scored and this is going to be my back piece. So I'm going to score that and then I'm just going to pop those together and stick the top bit and that's made my card base. Super easy. So I'm going to stick that together now because we might as well, haven't we? And get a glue that works hopefully I feel like this was the one that was jammed up last night should we give it a poke I'll just see what some of the comments are um Julie says loving it all got to prize what I want to get first though has no time to rob a bank at the weekend um now as the boys are going are not going to their dads oh no how inconvenient we were doing a heist this weekend weren't we a crafty heist funny um probably get a bit wet outside in the weather yeah it probably would <laughs> um grid grid it like those newspaper ones what i don't know what you mean what do you mean tell explain to me i don't am i am i, am I being a bit thick most likely so i'm going to use my um wet glue because it is a bit stronger for this type of thing and i'm just going to press those together and try and get those as even as possible um we'll drop your cut off on the way back so cool <laughs> danielle says she's lost track of what she wants oh no there is there is a lot in this release isn't there a lot of good stuff a lot of good stuff um so and i have been really excited to bring it to you so there we go so um this is my front piece now i'm going to attach my um my brad to this piece before i stick it on to the back so um but i'm just going to show you then how i've created the the rest of it now you'll see oh i've ripped my bloody paper again i'm always doing that aren't i excuse the language apologies if there's children watching um so on this um this example here i cut my door out of this piece 
and I cut my little um, gift card holder bit out of the actual card base um, there. Joe Blake said he's watching and hello, he should be asleep. Blake, you need to go to sleep and sorry uh, uh, for the, um, the bad language there. Don't listen to Joe from Time for Tea. <laughs> so, but what I'm going to do for this one, it could have been worse than that word, Joe, I know it could. <laughs> um, so for what I've done for this example is I've cut my little, my little holes there. Uh, for the gift card into this into my layer rather than into the card base so um, again if I show you how I did that how I lined that up and it's super super easy so I, and I cut I cut the um, the door out of a piece of red card stock and then I've just cut a little line around the outside so I left a little outline because that's what will attach it to my card front and then my door will open from there um, so that fits on there you see so in order to line up where I need everything I've used my washi tape to attach the bottom bit there and the top bit there so this is whereabouts it's going to be and then I've opened my door I'll have to just use my pokey tool to open it back up now and then I can see there, this is the space then that I've got to add my, um, my gift card. Now I can add this anywhere that I want, but ideally you want it to be around the middle because um, that's the best way to support your gift card and keep it in place. Um, so yes, yeah, so I've just then lined that up in the middle um, and then removed this, popped that through my die cutting machine and hey presto, we have we have a place for our gift card so and I've just cut myself an example of what a gift card would look like based on the shape of my Crate and Craft card actually <laughs> um, and I know then that that's going to fit in there perfectly um, and like I say everything has been designed so that it works so your door is big enough to hide that okay um, he didn't hear what you said, no worries. Harry said hi too, they both should be asleep. Punishment will be I'll sell their toys to pay for more craft supplies. I feel like they wouldn't mind, Julie. I feel like they perhaps would be up for that. <laughs> they are very, very cute. So, um, so again, to figure out where I want my, um, my little um, brad to go, I am just going to position this where I want it. And then I need to make sure that my mechanism is going to cover both the little um, outline edge and the door itself to keep it in place. Okay, so that's um, pretty much where I want it to be. Um, and I'm going to use a little bit of pencil because I, th I believe that that's quite central. We're, uh, we're doing it by eye, as we always do. So I'll add a little dot there. And then can carefully remove that. And then, like I say, my my solution... Oh, my, uh, I knocked my card over. My solution is to use a blob of um, my uh, blue tack. Pop this over the top. And then use my poker tool just to make sure that that's created a nice sized hole. And um, my poker tool gets it gets a little bit thicker, so that should be wide enough. But if you need to make it a little bit wider, then obviously you can pop something through that's a little bit a little bit thicker, like the end of my pencil will give me a slightly larger hole. But you don't need to be too too large because you don't want your brad to fall out. So I now have some, some nice brightly coloured brads here. Um, and hence the reason why we're now stocking these. You can see the method in my madness now. And I'm gonna take one of my pink ones because that will coordinate quite well. 
and we're just going to pop that back in there and where's my little piece gone now the only thing is is that I can never get these these apart oh I think we might have managed it there we go and I'm just going to pop that through there and do my best oh that's actually I think it must be when I've got false nails I can't do it because with my my own nails <laughs> work much better so there we go so now we've got our little our little mechanism there that'll keep the um keep our uh, little door closed oh Sam's here hello Pam how are you long time no see um Alison says they aren't bothered how if I if I mentioned you'd sell the Xbox and Disney Infinity game and almost co complete collection of characters then they might be upset yeah that'd be the one <laughs> um Sam says right we've got a joke here we go Simon says what do you get if you cross a werewolf with a dog a terrified postman precisely <laughs> I have missed your jokes, Simon. I have missed them so much. I wish Ant was here because he misses them too. Um, bless you. Julie says she was hoping to use her mini bras this weekend and make a card with a seesaw, but my weekend of crafting has been cancelled. Get get the boys involved. Get crafting together. Do it. So we've got the basis of it. So you can see already this is coming together really really well isn't it now you're going to have to be careful when you stick this down because you don't want to stick those to the to uh, to your background but that's all that's the only difficulty there um but we're going to stick this down um first i think so again we're not sticking the door down because we want the door to open <laughs> um now i haven't uh, i haven't tried this with glue look at my glue is getting splodged everywhere let me get a tissue to wipe that up um, but I think glue is going to be the strongest. Like I say, you don't have to do this step. You could just cut this directly out of this layer and cut your little gift card holes out of your base layer. But I felt like I wanted a little bit of a border around um, my next layer because I wanted to use these cool patterned papers. Now the patterned papers that I'm using I'm sure you recognise, you wonderful tea timers will recognise these papers. These are from the um, Winter Wonderland set and the Rainbow Bright set of papers. And I am hoping to bring out, oh, don't forget to move your little uh, mechanism out of the way before you, um, before you stick that down. And I am just going to have to lift that up a little bit. So um, I probably would have been better popping this on after I'd stuck this layer down. So bear with me while I just fix that. That's it. It's easily fixed, but I would have made it easy for myself if I'd done it the other way around. So make sure that that's fully stuck down. So we don't want our door to fall off. That would be a disaster so there we go so that's on there now and then we can add our second piece of patterned paper um, as our layer onto the door put the glue scribbled on the back of there super super easy and that does just leave a little border you see around there which is really nice um, this little little mark here you'll have to excuse me and hopefully we'll be able to cover that up um, yes we need to make Oscar a birthday card yes so they can do that yeah that'll be good so this is our strip that I mentioned that has the two score lines at either side and this is going to create our little door handle so all you need to do is just fold it around those score lines oops missed my score line there and then there and just reinforce those and then we've got our little handle that will fit on the top 
and that allows you to then easily open and close your door so again I'm going to use some of my liquid glue now you could use um, your tape if you want that that will give you an immediate adhesion but it might not be a lasting one and again I don't want my, my door handle to come off so excuse me while my head just pops into view which it might do while I just try and line this up um, so that it's central and I'm going to use I'm going to use my pokey tool I think just to hold that in place and you can obviously squidge it one way and then squidge it another way just to give that a good press down and make sure that it's stuck so there we go so that's the door handle so now so this is that you can see how easily this is coming together um, now we just need to and I feel like that's a bit empty so let me just get one that's not quite as empty um, so that we can add our glue a little bit quicker so again you can add your glue all over the back of here but don't put it there <laughs> um, otherwise you'll not be able to pop your gift card in okay and then we'll pop that onto our base just line that up so that we've got our nice little red border all the way around the outside now your brad mechanism is covered up and I'm just going to open that to make sure that that's all stuck down in there and that does look really pretty just as it is and it will stand up and then we can open our little mechanism open our door and our little gift card will sit in the center there so I'm just going to lift those up a little bit so that they stand a bit, bit proud but there we have our cool little uh, mailbox really easy to do once you've die cut all your pieces it is just a matter of just layering them all up and sticking them together excuse me okay so you could if you wanted then add your um your little bow so this is the little kind of ribbon um string string well, the ribbon itself um or background or base piece um that you would cut and i've put mine at an angle but you can cut it straight across you can have it going this way you could have it matching that which, which what, whatever way you decide you want to do it and then the bow itself like i say is super super easy it has score lines in the middle just there and the reason those score lines are there are because it will allow you to curve your bow that little bit easier there are score lines here as well so you're going to follow those score lines and if your card stock is a bit thick then your, your, your score lines might be a little bit harder to see but they are there just gently um, work all of those score lines and then your your little um, oval here just gently work that again if your cardstock's too thick um, it, you'll find that it, this bit is harder to do um, it is better if you're using kind of a 160 170 gram paper like in the, the paper pads so this like I say is from the Rainbow Brights um, and is a really pretty colour and then once you've got a little bit of curve going on you're going to be able to curve it back on itself and you're going to stick each of those pieces down to create your um, your bow shape so again I'm going to use liquid glue because this does stick much firmer and and is more long-lasting but you do obviously have to hold it in place until it really sticks it doesn't oh see I was gonna say it doesn't take long but it obviously takes longer than that <laughs> So just give that a hold what you could do which i don't think i have actually here is pop a paper clip on it 
um, until it's fully fully set because you don't want it popping open and again a little bit of glue on there to pop that final piece down and again we'll just hold that and then you could just put like I say a paper clip on there um, until that's fully fully stuck down the um, paper in the Rainbow Brights is uh, double sided so um, that's really cute because you've got a little pattern on the inside as well um, which I'd, I had forgotten about actually but um, it was really cool so hopefully that's we've given that enough time to stick I don't think it's fully stuck yet but it should be enough to hold it and then this little piece here fits in the middle now you could use a contrasting colour and actually I think I might do that because I think that looks really sweet so we can use the bit that was actually on the other side and that just makes for a really cute little um, and you could actually use your other ribbon um, the other way around as well because we've used the double sided paper so that's a really cool little thing to do so again there are no score lines in this um, because it's just easy to wrap around um, yourself um, this one so and again it depends how thick a cardstock you've used as to where those score lines would work best so um, that's why they, they there's no need for those really so add a little bit more glue on there fold the other piece over and we'll just give that a second to hold And, uh, and then you've got a really cute little ribbon and like I say you can use this paper ribbon on any project now so um, I loved it for the um, for the center of my well, I'll put that on a bit skew with now that should be okay can I move it now it's fully stuck there we go so um yeah, I just liked it on uh, because of the size of it on the front of um, the um, the mailbox. It just worked really well, but it would also work on the front of a card too. So um, again, I don't have an A2 size card, which is annoying. Let me show you this one because this is this is what I'm going to use later. This is a little bit bigger than an A2 size card. But um, you could ha definitely have that on the front of your card and it would look really cute. And you could cut out some matching uh, paper in a longer strip um, for the rest, of your, um, the rest of your ribbon piece. Or you could have it this way around and use that there as your, um, your ribbon piece there. Very cute, I think. So, really handy one to have. So, um, so then on to the decoration then, because like I say, I'm not going to use the ribbon on this one. Uh, I just wanted to show you how I made that because I think it's really, really cool. But I also wanted to show you how I decorated this, this guy here. And you can see that really all I've done is I've built up um, that... Uh, let me just try and pop this back in here, although I should pop it in the other one. Um, I've just built it up um, on the back um, so that it tucks in behind my door. So you don't want to create too dimension, too much dimension, but um, to create this cascade over the top, I just think it looks really effective. So um, I've cut out loads of bits um, and I've not really decided which of them I'm going to use yet. But I've cut out the envelopes so that I can show you how we made the envelopes. I've cut out a load of those word pieces. I've cut out the note card pieces and some postage stamps and some hearts. So let's have a go at putting some of this together. The envelopes are really, really cute. Um, and again, you can use these on the front of other cards. Um, and that, I think I'm definitely going to be doing that as well um, today. Um, and then we've got all of the sentiments. So... I've done a variety of different um, envelopes in different co coloured cardstock um, and I've even done one out of some patterned paper that's going to coordinate with our, um, with our mailbox and you can see that it has score lines all the way around the edge and it's just so easy just 
fold along all those score lines and then it's up to you which way which way up you you want to do it i i like to do it that way um it's it looks prettier i think than that way um and you can make some that are totally closed and you can have some that are open so and all i do is just pop a little line of glue right along the edges there um be careful not to put too much on because you want to be able to you may want to be able to slot something on the inside of your envelope and just give that a little press and then you've got your little envelope and you see the little um the little note card the little notelet just fits perfectly inside there did i have one in another color yes i had one in the teal color which i think looks really cute so that one will fit in there um so that's uh, that's one envelope same again with um our red envelope so we'll just fold all of those down and we'll add some glue Oh, I added a bit too much glue there, but it should be fine because it's it will dry clear. Got it all over my fingers, <laughs> which isn't helping. But you'll take a bit more time than I'm doing, obviously. So that's envelope number two, and we can have that closed, or we could have that open. And then envelope number three, and I'm going to leave them open for the moment while I decide exactly what I want to do with them so I've not fully decided what I want to do just yet and we shall again and you can use um you know you don't have to use your glue if you're worried about getting all sticky like me then um you know don't have to use your glue you just know that that's that's my go-to is the glue because um I just think it just it stays put and I don't like things popping open that's so cute isn't it really really cute um, and maybe that one can have that inside I like that and you could write little little um, messages in there and pop them in and then leave them so that you can open that up and have a little message I think we'll probably put a little message on ours have I gone very wonky again? I do apologise. Um, as long as you can see everything that I'm doing. The envelope is, is adorable. I love the envelope. Um, so we also have um, uh, some sentiments. We have some little smiley faces as well. So I've got a little smiley face there that I've done in white. And I've done one in... Um, in black as well somewhere in here um, I have the sentiment you um, but I, I think um, I'm gonna go with some happy mail was my thoughts so I've kept my um, mail together here with some washi tape um, just so that I didn't lose it um, because I just wanted to test what I wanted on the front here and I like the idea of having the the happy mail on the front because uh, that's what we're going to be sending um, so we're also going to have here some um, we've got some hearts some large hearts we've got some small hearts that we can layer up as well so different colored papers there i did like the idea of the patterned paper u with the white on the front i think that looks really really cool and you could have that with the thank um i don't think i cut that one out so but you could definitely have that together which looks really cool i think that might be my little face in black there um, I have um, the background for an I love you and I've also got that cut out both in white I've got the happy mail in white 
and it might be good to maybe do a drop shadow on that you can see or just use that to add some dimension I've got my little postage stamps so many things that you can use here it's so cool um, my little postage stamps and I can add a little heart in there I might add my little happy face into that one I've got an XO that I can layer up there I've got so many options here this is awesome isn't this cute I've got a little red heart there that one looks good on there I think um, I've got another red postage stamp that can have that in the middle that one could go in there couldn't it that looks quite good so you can see how you can build all this up this is um, the for you so you could actually have for you on the front here which I think would look really quite cool as well because it's a gift card for someone so the for you would work really quite well I think um, if you wanted to do that um, and then obviously you've got the I love you so I think the I love you um, might go on this note card quite like the idea of, of doing an I love you on there and what I've done here is um, I have used my washi tape but I'm going to keep the individual letters together on that washi tape and just take the outline and I'm just going to pop the outline on there because I think that looks really really cool Jess says that the snail mail set would be cute. I think that's a really good shout, actually. It would be great. You could add your little little snails to the front. You could add your critters to this as well. Don't feel that you can't. You know, you can, you can definitely have some of your little critters popping out of the, the top of this. The definite. So, just going to pop some of this together now. Now I've kind of got an idea of what I'm doing. So we'll just pop that heart on there. This heart. So you can see how now you can really just play with all of your different bits of, of coloured paper and your different um, cardstock and just make something really really awesome so um, and th this then you give this to someone and this is sitting on the mantelpiece long after the gift card has been used for definite so let's try and just peel this off the other side so what I've done there is I've taken the washi tape off the reverse and I'm now trying to stick the positive side to my other piece of washi tape I'm just gonna have to po poke that out a little bit to make sure it's stuck um, and then I can add my glue to the bit that's um, to the back side of it while it's still stuck to the washi tape do you see so then it's all in, in place. Oh, big blob. Um, and again, you don't need a lot. And it, this, you know, we've mentioned just putting these maybe through your Xyron um, sticker maker or doing it, diacting it on some sticky, um, some sticky paper, double sided. That would be a good way of doing it um, actually I might have to take them off because I think it's a little bit wide for this maybe he fits better onto the heart yeah let's pop him on the heart And then 
then, sorry if my head got in the view there, and then I can just peel off my washi tape and the face is in place. See, I've got all sorts going on here. It looks like absolute chaos, doesn't it? But I love this kind of chaos. Um, and then I've got a little heart here. So let's pop that in the centre of there. Okay, this is looking cute. Right, so I've got my I love you that's going to go into this envelope there um, and we've got a couple of exos here that we've not used yet which are cute um, okay and we've got our happy mail so let's um, let's stick down our happy happy mail and then we know we know where we are with that oops so I'll just use my tweezers Crafty Chaos is a good thing, Julie. I agree. I love a bit of Crafty Chaos. So. There we go. And I'm just going to move my base up there a little bit so that I can... Um, work on the center of my mat so you can see what I'm doing a little bit and it's not so much crafty chaos move some of my mess so that's our happy which is gonna look great and then the mail I think like I said um, I think I would quite like to give this a bit of dimension by popping it onto um, on the top of there, yes. So um, the way that I'm going to do that is same as we've just done, but I might need a fresh bit of washi tape um, that is the right length, and I'm going to take a bit of the sticky off of that because I don't want to rip my cardstock, and then remove the second piece which has now got itself stuck to the first piece <sighs> there we go remove that can you hear the concentration I've gone quite quiet haven't I, I do apologise um, little Rosie's outside tonight in this horrible weather how is the weather where everyone else is are, we, are you all having um end of the world type weather it's uh, it's been very very um windy we had a bit of snow last night after i got off the the, the live um yeah it's been very cold um so I'm, i do hope that it sorts itself out so i've just then stuck those two together because they're both lined up exactly as they were when they came out of the, the die. So that's a really easy way of, of doing that and I've just sandwiched those together. Jackie says, I love this one. Did you have time today to sort out how I can use the gift vouchers code along with the 10% discount with tomorrow's release? Bless you. Um, I haven't, but I have got a theory and I'm gonna be looking at it when I get off the call tonight, Jackie. So I will um, sort it out for you. Um, I'm wondering whether it's, it may be something to do with using it with a discount code that might be getting in the way. It shouldn't do, but um, it might be um, a gremlin there. Oh, actually, I need that piece on the front. So, yeah, just bear with um, and we'll, we'll find a way around it um, one way or the other. One way or the other. We shall make sure that you get your crafty goodies. I don't think there's been an issue with the uh, the gift cards before, but like I say, I'm not sure if anyone's tried using them with a discount code, so that could be the reason. 
so now we've got those together I've removed the um, the bit of tape that was on the back of the white piece which is the bit that I now want to adhere to my base oh I didn't put my happy down so I'm going to put my happy down first and then I know I've got this in the right place Oh, I'd already stuck that down. Going mad. There we go. So we've got our happy. And now we can position the male underneath. And using that bit of washi tape just to stick it all down in one place is really, really helpful. Obviously, you just need to make sure then that when we remove it, we, no, we don't remove any of the cardstock. Perfecto. Yay. Loving it. What do we think? Are we happy? Lauren says that her weather's been okay. We missed all the storm stuff. Loving what we're doing. Oh, thank you. Um, I know this is a little bit different to what we normally do, and obviously it's a little bit... Um, you know it's 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 a lot more die cutting than kind of coloring so um i like this i love you um i don't think i've got have i got a piece of uh, tape that's long enough to cover all of those there we go because um again i'm going to keep them all together like this and then i'm going to stick these if you remember we used the outline of this in our little envelope there so this one I have an outline in white here so I can use this to pop that oh my washi tape's actually sticking down before my letters do which is funny Remove that. Oh no, that's perfect. My eye's gone a bit skew. There we go. Because that looks really cool as well, doesn't it? Hey. So let's stick our little faces on here, which is really sweet. Oh, I've got an XO attached to me. <laughs> Everything's stuck together with bits of washi tape, just so that I didn't lose it. So he's cute, I do like that. And then we just will stick this on here. So you see the, the combinations are just gonna be absolutely endless. You're gonna have hours and hours of fun just layering up different letters and adding them in different places and building up a collage of, um, of these die cuts. And it's going to be really, really cool. So I've got an XL here that is looking for a home, I think. And I've got another XL there. So I've got, I could have one on red, one on the, um, the teal colour. So I think we will do that as well. And then we can start popping these together. Now I did think that I was going to be able to show you another card tonight using our little critters I don't think I'm gonna to get to do that tonight um, because I think it's already quite late I feel um, I know you guys would probably be up all night crafting and, and I would to be honest with you um, but I do want to make sure that Jackie's got her voucher sorted and that everything's ready on the website tonight so what I might do so Alison says yours worked when you paid via the shop. Yeah, I don't, I don't think we've had any problems with them before, Jackie. So I don't know what's gone wrong with yours. It is a mystery. I'm not sure. I'm not. Yeah, I'm not sure. But we'll we'll figure it out. So we've got our XO or our OXO, <laughs> um, and. We had 
another one somewhere, didn't we? Where did that one go? There it is. Um, and we'll add that one to this, I think. Yeah, I think we'll do that. We'll take that little bit out of the centre. Oh no, that the back of that is already, this is already on backwards, so that's good. That's good then, because this is the bit that I want to stick down. I thought on I'd have done them all like that, but I didn't. So again, I'm just going to use, and the washi tape is just, uh, it might be difficult for you guys to see on screen, but it is just translucent enough for me to be able to see through it so that I can see that I am lining that up in just about the right place. But because we've used liquid glue, we need to jiggle it around a little bit. We do have that little bit of time to do that. So there we go. That's our other XO. So these are looking awesome, I think, aren't they? So then when I came to so and for the, these that are where they've got a little bit of an envelope sticking out, um, I did stick the envelope where I wanted it to stay. Um, now, for this one, it might be nice to pop the XO in there um, to give that a little bit of a message. Um, shall we do, yeah, we'll do the teal one for this. So you see how everything's been sized so that it all... It all fits and works together, which is what you want. So I am just going to add a little bit of glue to that so that it doesn't move around in my envelope. Unless, of course, you want people to be able to take it out and then you, you won't want to do that. Same with this one. I'll just pop a bit of glue on the back of there. How cute are these little, um, these little envelopes, I love them so much. Hello to Maria, how are you? Um, the shop pay option like PayPal, the discount came off first, then the voucher took the total down. Yeah, I don't know if maybe you guys might be able to help um, help Julie out if you've had experience. So, um, and then we've got this one here. Now, do I would I rather that one be be closed? Have one one closed. Maybe have the "I love you" across the front of that. That might look quite cute. Or. We could stick it with the postage stamp. Oh, that's quite sweet, isn't it? Let's do that. So you see, you've got all of these different little little options. You could, if you wanted to, you know, have secret messages in these and have this as um, a little stopper, um, maybe with a bit of um, Velcro on the back or um, magnets that hold it hold it closed. Um, that would be quite cute, wouldn't it? So that then you could just pop it open and there'd be a little secret message on the inside. I love anything that's like a little bit secret, <laughs> you know, and a little surprise. Um, so that's that's working for me. Now, we obviously, we don't want to cover up this mechanism here. So we're going to make sure that everything works without covering up our mechanism. So, um, and I feel like that's not quite stuck down at the bottom there. So I'm just going to add a bit more of my glue down the bottom. It feels like that's lifting a little and it might get caught in the door there. So, and then we're going to have some of these guys. So some of these guys we might have to pop up on some acetate or on some... Um, some cardstock. Let's have a look. And I 
I think acetate strips are a really cool idea for, um, for doing that. So I'm just having a little fiddle about, a little fiddle about with my bits to see, because you want to be able to see, see them all. So some we can stick to the actual um, base itself that is going to cover up my little, my little fudge mark down there. <laughs> There's always a solution, always a solution, isn't there? That's quite cute. <laughs> and that covers it up, doesn't it? As long as we don't, you know, stick it to the base, then that's fine. So, acetate. Um, oh, I have got some acetate somewhere. Where have I put it? Where have I put it? Tell me where I've put my acetate. Someone. Do, 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 do. Um, you don't have to use acetate. You could use um, a coordinating colour of cardstock, which I might do because I'm not sure what I've done with my acetate. Um, and that might we might do that instead. Because I wasn't planning on doing it this way, but... Do you know what? I think it's going to look really cool. So I want to do it. Oh, here we go. We've got some acetate here. It's right in front of me. I feel like I should have got a piece that's cut, not a great big giant sheet. Aha! So I have. It doesn't feel very thick though. It feels like it might wobble a little. Let's have a look. I have some that's a bit thicker. And that. No, it all feels quite thin. That. So you need, you do need an acetate that's quite thick. I am here. I'm just um, messing about, as uh, as you know, I do. This is heat resistant. That feels a little bit. Is that a bit thicker? Or would my cardstock be better? Maybe my cardstock would be better. So I'm going to use some of this um, pale pink cardstock and I'm just going to cut some strips of it to help hold some of these bits aloft. We won't need a lot. Um, I hope you're all uh, alright and this isn't boring you all to tears. I always worry that I'm just going on a bit too much, taking a bit too long. You all. Um, so I do hope that that isn't the case. Um, I'll just cut a few a few strips. I probably won't even need this many, but um, we'll just do that for now. So. Um, Let's have a look. They are going to go on first, but these this needs to be up here a little bit. So this is the one that I feel probably needs a little bit of help. So I'm going to add, and you know, if you don't want this to be visible from the back, you can just cut another heart and place that over the back. But most people aren't going to see. So let's just get our scissors and cut this down. Um, and I think that that there is going to be fine. So we can cut a little bit more of the bottom of there. Just needs a little bit of help on the bottom. going to be and that should be fine. This one's going to go here, that's going to go in the middle there 
think. And then we're going to have our little smiley, smiley face in the background there. Or will he go down there? Maybe he can sit there. Yeah, so I think he might need a little bit of support as well. Just so that we can see his little smiley face watching. All gone quiet. I worry when everyone goes quiet. <laughs> um, and that maybe I've, I've, you know, gone. <laughs> but hopefully not. So again, we'll just have a little bit of support there. This one's definitely going to need a bit of support because it needs to sit behind here. Um, probably about there. See. There we go. Maybe a bit lower. one down now. That's well a little bit. And that one's going to go there. We're going to have this guy is going to sit here. Now this guy I might pop on some foam pads so that he sits a little bit um, in front of there and then this one can sit in there that's good so yes yeah, some foam pads might help with a bit of dimension here it might be a little wide so I'll use some of my lovely foam tape I've gone, I've gone very quiet now I'm constructing um, <laughs> but I am absolutely just loving this. I'm proper enjoying myself and I just think it looks so cute. I hope you guys agree. I hope you're all going to be making cute little mailboxes now. This is on your, on your to-do list. And this is, I feel like that's not very central. Move it along a little bit. can still get our mechanism to work just about there we go which is important obviously we need to make that we need that to still work um, so let's add some glue to the back of here it's my wrong my wrong glue You are completely creating um, just the, the pretty piece of art here, um, which I think is just incredible. Um, that could fit in there, couldn't it? Let's pop this on here, because then... it to glue to the back so let me just open the door make sure it's not impeding opening the door and the same with our I love I love you 
which way shall I put it? shouldn't stop our door opening which is good um, and then just move our little pin round there I've got a little gap in there so I'm going to add this in the background so we'll just gently poke that in that little gap there and then we have a little XO here which um, could go on the top there, couldn't it? If we had a little strip on the back. So let's do, let's use this thin strip. And again, you could use a piece of acetate for this one, but I don't want it to flop back too much. And that looks really quite cute. Sorry, I pulled that forward so that I can see, and now you can't see. So, and that I think actually, to be to be fair, the acetate wouldn't be an issue because it would stick to the back of this envelope here. So, um, so yeah, so you could definitely use acetate if you didn't want it to show at all. Um, oh, so sorry, I'm, I'll just make sure that you guys can see where I'm popping that. So I'm just popping that in the little gap there and then sticking that in place and then that just pokes up over the top. So you can, I mean, I am absolutely just loving, loving that so much. Um, you could you know go absolutely mad you could add even more to that because it is a sturdy construction it will stay stood up um so i just think it looks amazing um jess says it looks amazing moving craft along with some ghost friends ghost stamp and dies oh not actual ghost friends thank goodness <laughs> um loving it will be online first thing love it says elizabeth love it so cute of course on my ever growing to-do list Siobhan's crafting along, Alice and Jane Green's crafting along, finishing your last January card swap. Oh, amazing. I'm so glad you've all been, been crafting along with me. Um, I don't even know what time it is. I don't even imagine how late we are now. But I, I do think it was worth showing you how those two sets. So that's the, um, the builder set um, and then the Happy Mail add-on. We've used elements from all of those um, and then like I say I will have to show you a card using our gorgeous Happy Mail critters but you can use these obviously together you can use elements from this with your Happy Mail critters as well and um, it all goes along um, so well not as late as last night it's only 9 40 wow I've done quite well there haven't I um, what do you think or what do you, are you up for me carrying on for a little bit see if we can blast out a card in 20 minutes <laughs> I'm happy to to do that if you want to um because I've got I've got most of it prepped I think but isn't that gorgeous isn't that absolutely I just um I love it so you've got two two different versions of the same two die sets here um one in some pastely um kind of pinks and and yellows um, and then this one more in the traditional kind of reds but with that pop of teal as well so um and there you've got your space for your little gift card inside um and then again you can open that one up and let's just pop let's pop the the gift card in the center of that one as well Ooh. I might have to Use my poker tool to get under that one. There we go. <laughs> Just need to build, do a bit of manipulation on these ones because they've uh, we've stuck them to the inside. So 
There we go. Oh, go on. There we go. Got it. I got it. There we go. Um, and then I just need to move my little mechanism and close that back up. There we go. Cute. Cute, cute, cute. Yes, carry on if you're up for it. We'll stay and watch. Oh my goodness, you're so good. Bless you. Right, okay, my, my phone's plugged in, so we're not going to run out of battery, so that's good. Danielle's going to leave it there. We've got some extra exams tomorrow, so I want to get a good night's sleep. Um, good luck with the release, Joe. Thank you so much, and thank you for joining us and for staying staying on so late. Um, it has been, um, you know, it's, it is still a late one, even though um, it's, it's not as long as we normally do. Um, but I appreciate your support, Danielle. Thank you so much. So that's our Happy Mail um, um, gift card holders. And they're so cute. So let's pop those to one side and I'll show you what um, I intended to do for the card today. So I've made myself a, um, a card base which is slightly larger than um, a standard A6 size. And the reason that I've done that is because I'm using, I've um, cut out the Lots of Love cover plate die. So let me just grab that. If you haven't already seen this, what have I done with it? Oh, I've put it here, look, because we've already seen this one. Here we go. So this is the Lots of Love cover plate die. Um, and I've cut that out of some white cardstock and that is exactly the size of an A6 card base and I want there to be a little bit of a border around the outside of that um, and I've cut a piece of this pink uh, um, and I'm going to tell you it's the pink souffle colour cardstock because I've got my swatch ring here <laughs> at the side of me so I know what colour everything is and I'm going to layer that up on top of there so that's that's the first part of the plan <laughs> second part of the plan is to use this cute stamp set obviously and I've also cut out the one of the envelopes from um, the add-on set that we've just seen and I had um, I, I think you saw I showed you this the other day that I'd already cut this out of some ink blended cardstock um, I'd used a combination of um, I think cracked pistachio and peacock feathers to make this background which is absolutely gorgeous um, it goes really well with our teal um, cardstock and obviously I've ended up with lots of little hearts that have um, come out of that and I really enjoyed the paper piecing that we did on our slimline card and I wondered whether I could use some of those on the back of here as well so that's, that's part of the plan um, is to do that now, in order to make this a little bit quicker, I do have some images that are already coloured um, as well. And I don't think I showed you these when I showed you the stamp set. So um, that was a little bit remiss of me, wasn't it? But obviously I've got the um, lovely mailbox itself. And then we've got a little doggy here. We've got our little raccoon. And our little cat we've got the happy mail sentiment we've got a little um, a little envelope there we've got a little box I mean the, the to be fair these just you know these cards are making themselves at the moment <laughs> aren't they um, and then we've got the, the cute little um, the little sentiments here um, that you can die cut as well, which look really cool. So um, so yeah, so I've got a combination of little um, little images here that we could use on the front of here. And I've also um, got the sentiments from here as well that we could use, um, which would be quite cool as well. Maybe the hello would be quite nice. Um, to, to coordinate with this um, so maybe having um, the sending sending you um, 
Happy Mail as well would be and, and be a nice one on the front of here as well. Sending you paper hugs or sending you hugs um, would be really cool. So, so yeah, so I've got a number of different options, but I did like the idea of maybe adding a little envelope to the front. So let me just um, let me just pop. The, some of these images out of the way. There's too many, too many images for me to choose from. <laughs> um, so, but I like the idea of having my a little bird in one of the hearts, um, and then maybe some uh, some of the other hearts um, stamped or die cut in the centre, like so. And then we've got, um, like we say, we've got our envelope here. So let me just make the envelope and we could pop this little pink heart that matches, coordinates with our background and we could have this on the front as well which would be quite cool um, with any one of our critters really very very sweet so this is kind of where I was going um, I think it's looking kind of cute um, definitely or we could have this open with um, either a little note card inside that has the made with love so we did we did have this die cut Although I've die cut the hearts the wrong way around, I feel like they should be the other way around. <laughs> but that looks quite cute, doesn't it? With a little bit of a note card in there um, that we could do. Um, so, a few options there, I think. I'm going to glue this together. And I also feel that might be quite nice to maybe use one of the hug sentiments or oh, we've got the happy mail I don't know. Hmm. that could definitely go in a little note card couldn't it on the inside that would be a good idea Right, let's do that. Just make sure that's all nicely stuck down. And let's move that out of the way. So I need then my um, my die from here to cut out some white cardstock. So I must have got a little scrap of white cardstock here. Yes, we do. Um, so let's pop that through the die cutting machine. Is everyone still crafting along? While I'm talking away to myself. <laughs> so, I was thinking Just looking here, I've got a few little bits of sentiments that I put out um, that might work quite well. We've got the the for you, which is quite quite nice as well. Let's have a look at my um, So we've also got um, the Be Kind Be You um, sentiment um, 
stamp set which has also got a U which is um, a little bit smaller um, but I think no I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the 4U um, but I might cut the 4 I've got it in black here but because we've got this teal kind of theme going on I think I might cut it out of some of my tealy coloured cardstock here so this this colour that matches the envelope um, because um, the for you I think will look really nice and I'm I'm inclined I don't know whether to do that in maybe in a either in a, a sparkly colour or in just in the white might be quite nice um, I don't, I'm not sure I'm not sure yet but I feel like it's going to need some dimension so we might have to cut that out a couple of times um, so I'll just pop that on there and let's get the U die as well and I just need the centerpiece Jess says, yes, very much so. Enjoying this craft session so much, I can feel the force of the crafters working hard all at the same time. <laughs> um, I know we are. We're all, it's a lot of crafty energy in the air, isn't there? <laughs> we're all like little, little workers, little crafty workers. Right, so we've got another U going through there. And I've got the four going through. So we'll pop that in there, and then this is my little note card, miniature note card, that is going to, again like I say you can send some little secret messages to people, but I'm going to pop the happy mail because that's what it is, it's a happy mail. And that on there and stick that down so this is literally crafting on the fly making it up as you go along but we love that don't we and I don't know whether to just leave that loose really because I quite like the idea that you'd be able to just take that out you know so I quite like that arrangement, to be honest with you. Um, like so. So I just need to figure out what I'm doing with the U bit. Whether I'm going to leave it white. Um, or I'm going to add some colour. So my, um, my four has come out of the die and is attached to my... Um, my cutting plate so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick it up with some washi tape exactly where it is so now it's attached to my washi tape and is spaced perfect just need to poke out those middle bits because we don't need those and then like we did before I'm just going to add there and then add this onto the background piece which is just here Oops. there we go I think that's So, and then the second U, part of that's come out, <laughs> part is stuck to my cutting plate, right here, so is that the right way around? No. 
we go. So again, I'm going to use some washi tape to hold that all together and pull that out of the die. And then we'll have to do it on the other side as well because I want to attach the glue to this side. So let's remove the letters from the outer bit. And there we go. And that just, it does just make it so much easier. I don't know if I make it look fiddly, but it, it is so much easier like that. Um, okay, so I'm going to stick these two together and then I'm going to have a look and see because what we could do is add a bit of um, a bit of shimmer to the last die cut if we feel that the, the white is just a bit too white. Let's remove that piece of tape in there and I'm going to keep that piece on the back for the moment. So this is the layout that we've got at the minute. Um, so we've got some happy mail for you or we've got um, let me just pop that back on there before I lose it and that also we might need that one um, is the paper hooks for you um, which is in here which we could heat emboss um, so we'd have some paper hooks you which I think would be quite sweet so we don't have to use the envelope if we don't like the envelope we could have maybe a little um, stack of presents or we could go with the envelope what do we think I may have missed it, but it's Ant at work. Yes, he is. He's on nights tonight. Um, he is um, off heroing this evening, <laughs> um, doing his uh, his bit. So what do we think, guys? Watch the thoughts on this at the moment. Do we quite like? Do we think this needs a bit of bling? I feel like it might need a bit of bling here, as it's a bit too pale. But um, it could also, we could also do a little bit of this, this brighter pink. So that, that pinky red, um, I could either use my Copics, which I think I might be inclined to do because um, that way I'm going to get a good, good match, aren't I? Um... Trying to think what which colour reds I used actually. I did think I'd kept them all here, but yeah, it must be the R35 and R37 feel. But let's have a let's have a play. This could be a time to use the chisel. Yeah, that works, doesn't it? So I'm just going to have to work out if that's going to stretch all the way. Yes, it is. So I've never used my chisel tip, but here we go, we're going to use our chisel tip now. So I hope you can see this. 
I'm uh, very much using all of my craft space now. Oops, I've just gone on to my background there and onto my mat there. And I didn't mean to do that, so don't do that at home, folks, because it won't come off. So I can use this to see what kind of gradient I'm getting and then we'll use the R37 for the darkest bit. And we'll go over that, over that, mix that together. the R35 and again lastly with my this is actually an R43 which just gives it a bit of a um I think it's called well what is it called Bougainvillea but it's quite salmony so I've not used my my chisel tip ever but then we've just used it so what do you make to that so I want the darker part at the top and the lighter part at the bottom. So I shall line that up and pop that through the die machine and let's see what this looks like. And then for the, um, for the paper hooks, I'm going to use some black card stuff. So my little bow keeps getting in the way, so I'm scared of flattening it. So I'm going to have to move it. Let's create a bit of space so you guys can see what's what's going on. And I also need a bit of space to be able to do my stamping now. So um, stamping platform and some black cardstock we'll go in there we shall get my little anti-static powder business make sure we've got a good coverage of that onto there and get my little sentiment make sure that's pushed right up into the corner in case I need to stamp it twice and we we'll shall use embossing ink I am amazed that so many of you are still here I love it I love it and what are you crafty projects then um, tell me some of your crafty projects Tell me what you're working on. I know Jess has got some ghosts, which seems a weird kind of time of year for ghosts. But, you know, that you're prepping in advance for Halloween really early. <laughs> um, so we've got paper hugs there. I'm going to get a little bit of my uh, scratch paper, which I've keep a few bits in my folder beside me for this very purpose and we have some um, opaque bright white from WOW and then I'd love it if I could find some um, embossing powder of our own because you know how much I love to heat emboss, it'd be great. But um, at the moment uh, I can't seem to find anything better than WOW, so we shall use that. And we'll just get my heat tool warmed up. See that there's a few little bits. In here, and just wipe those away. Mm. 
It's time to pick it up. And look a few more. So my paper's warped a little bit, but that's fine. And just clean off. So, just says it's technically not a Halloween card, it's a bit of an odd one. Oh, I'm intrigued. Um, and every moment is time for a ghost time. Vanessa's calling a mermaid digit. Do you know when I first read that, Vanessa, I thought it said a mermaid dog. And I thought, what's a mermaid dog? <laughs> I've not seen one of those. Claire is colouring mice as practice um, and Jackie says what does the anti-static powder do? So the, an sorry I didn't explain that did I? The anti-static powder um, just helps when you add your um, embossing powder to over your ink it can stick to the rest of your cardstock. Adding some of the anti-static means that it should only stick to where you've put ink and not onto the paper, the card around it. So you see there, there were a few flakes of it or a few little little grains of the powder um, after I'd applied um, the first the f first couple of pours of the powder. So when I knocked off the excess, there were a few bits left. I wiped those off with my um, with my brush because. If I didn't, then they would have all set and I would have been left with speckles all around my sentiment. So it's definitely worth having some anti-static powder to minimise the amount of um, extra little um, uh, little flakes that you get onto around your sentiment. Just gives you a much cleaner, crisper sentiment than when you're heat embossing. So yes, it's uh, and the powder, just as you can see, it just gets everywhere. <laughs> And it's a bit of a, a devil to try and get off. So, um, so yes, if you can um, invest in an anti-static bag, we do sell them in the shop. Um, and then you see here, you've got a little bit of powder residue on your um, on your cardstock. Once your embossing powder is fully dried, you can go over that with your um, microfiber cloth, something that's uh, that's dry and clean and buff that up and then that comes up really nice and bright and clear. Um, so I need now to um, cut this out and I do have a die for that. I think I had it here a second ago. Yes, there it is. I have the um, dies that are in the Be Kind Be You sentiment set. I'm so excited to see what you all um, what you all purchase um, tomorrow. Like, wh what are your favourite things, and what it is that you? I love um, you know seeing what all your orders are and uh, and what you've gone with. And then I, I start thinking about you know what are you going to make? What is what are, what are your plans for it? And what are you going to do? Um, because that's really cool to to think about. Um, and I get excited for you because I know you're going to have so much fun. Oh, that just about goes through. Let's try it. I think it just fits. Yeah. Excellent. So I'll put that in there. And those. So it's the pigs for Siobhan. You've settled on the pigs and you're doing hello cards and realised you need some hug dies. There you go. So hug dies and pigs. Um, Julie says she finished off some new home cards for a friend to choose from, has asked for some. Also, a parent's um, neighbour asked if she could make two birthday cards based on uh, law, one for daughter, one for sister. So finished them earlier. Um, brilliant i love that you get all these requests for um to make cards as well it's so good having a a purpose for your for your card making do you know what i mean i i make cards 
for the purpose of showing you, <laughs> I suppose, what they can do. Um, and if I send any cards, it's uh, it's to your family and, and so on. Um, but I don't really get any requests to make cards as such because I probably wouldn't have, have time to make them anyway, if, if the truth be told. Um, but I love that, that you're, you guys are getting requests for, for cards and, and are being able to make them for, for people. So that's cut out of there. It's got well stuck in there. So let's see if we can use the washi tape trick. Tell you what, I'm getting a bit parched now. Have you guys all got a drink? I think I'm ready for a brew once we've made this. It'll definitely be brew time. Oh no, it didn't take my O. It didn't stick. Come on. There we go. So that seems to have bleached back quite a lot, doesn't it? So we might have to darken that up actually. I feel like um, it needs a bit of a darker red to it. I wonder why that happened not experienced that before um, and it's gone a bit um, less pinky more reddish so I'm going to add some red back into it because I'm not I don't quite like the colour that it's turned to Wanted to see a bit more of a, a bit more of that ombre kind of a look. No, so let's try this. See if this helps a little bit. Yeah, I like that better. Now we've got that that ombre look. So I don't know why it did that whether it's the pressure of the, the, the die cutting machine and things hadn't fully dried, I don't know. Interesting. I'm not fully aware of why that happened, but there we have it. Okay, so I'm gonna let that dry a little bit because I'm a bit suspicious of that now. It's like a magic changing thing First time in a while since I've heard a request, otherwise I make them for card swaps, do with other tea timers and send birthday cards to friends from craft clubs. I love that you all send cards to each other as part of a swap. I see, obviously I see um, your um, pictures that you put on, on Facebook and stuff and, and I just love that. I love that you do that as a group. It's really, really cute, really cool. Right, so let's start assembling this uh, this thing, shall we? Um, and then we can all get a cuppa. <laughs> so this needs to go on first. And I'm not going to add any more dimension to the back of the card because I think all of the dimension is going to come from uh, characters on the front and the sentiments and so on. So I don't think there's any need for there to be any dimension here. So let's pop that on there. And I think that's just about lined up. And then the same for this. So again, no dimension here. We're just going to use some liquid glue. And I just I think these are so versatile. And the next um Obviously I've got an, an idea in progress that I didn't get to finish um, I might have to do a live over the weekend with that one if I get time. Um, it depends on the orders that I get through, we might be too busy packing orders. Um, but uh, yeah, the, um, I want to do this, this die in particular because it's got the larger hearts um, as a shaker card. I think that would be, be really, really cool. So like I say, I want there to be a little bit of a little bit of that pink showing around the outside because I think that looks really cool, and that's why I've made my um, my card base a little bit larger 
than a standard size card but it, it will still fit in a standard size envelope I believe I hope so <laughs> right let's have a look I want my little birdie to sit in there we'll have that there now we've got happy mail we've got paper hugs for for you should that sit there maybe in the center or off to the side Can pop in there. And that one there. What's our thoughts on that? Yeah, I can move that one that up a little bit, maybe. What do you think? That's quite good isn't it as a layout um elizabeth um uh, says a uh, hairdresser sells her card your cards for you and it's quite popular that's amazing um and yes it's great it makes me feel like i've done a, done a good job you've done an awesome job it's really nerve-wracking putting yourself out there doing something like that as well so hats off to you for that a definite right you guys that are still here are hardcore i love you <laughs> right let's get this on here we are hardcore crafters did i hear a meow there is a little there is a little kitten out there possibly in the rain who is getting wet because we can't stop crafting so we will have to go let the little angel in very very soon oh it's stuck to my fingers there we go i have um downloaded uh, well recorded a couple of crime investigation things off uh, channel five last night that's what i will be watching before bed probably not the best thing to be watching when you're in the house on your own <laughs> um but you know and well we'll be home um eventually <laughs> um okay so but i do love a good crime investigation thing what about you guys oh i like that i like that a lot right okay i'm happy with this this now i wasn't sure but now I'm, I'm feeling it so i think i'm gonna pop him up on some film um i think this is going to be cute it's going to be different and it's going to be cute um the um traces on bbc iplayer is so good siobhan i watch i binge watch that um, you see, because a lot of my time is spent doing um, doing this, <laughs> pre prepping samples or at my PC all day, I either constantly watch Crate and Craft um, because it's just a little bit of white noise in the background. So it depends what um, what I'm actually doing at the time, um, and it could be that I just need. A little bit more focus and concentration so having creating craft on in the background actually works for that because i don't really have to listen to it i'm not going to really going to have missed anything much but it's it's just having a bit of company in the background which i like um and and obviously i like to keep up to date with what everybody's up to and and so on um but uh when i want to watch something when i'm crafting or or whatever I don't know whether to have that able to come out or not because you could put a little note in the back of it i think i might leave that out i think that might be quite cute um i love to watch things like 
traces or um, like I say I like to watch the crime investigation um, things so I love um, Britain's uh, most evil killers that Fred Dynage presents I just think it's awesome <laughs> which is really quite quite mad isn't it I think but um, it's a craftathon, isn't it? <laughs> Criminal Minds is on in the background too. I love these kinds of TV shows. I do. I love them so much. Um, and and Lisa says she loves crime investigation, police detective shows, and oh, we've got we all love a good crime um, thing. What am I watching? What is the name of it again? Um, so Traces is the one that's on BBC iPlayer. If you've not watched that, Annalisa, you must watch that. Um, but Britain's Most Evil Serial Killers, I think it is. Um, that one is... Oh, you'll love that one. Because there's a good few series of it as well um, to watch. And it's all the most... There's the world's most evil serial killers and then there's Britain's most evil ser serial killers. Oh, I've just snipped my skin there by accident because I wasn't concentrating. I'm so excited about the serial killers that I've actually cut myself. Oh dear. Hopefully I won't bleed on my project. That would be a disaster. Um, so um, yeah, so you must watch those. And then there was some on Channel 5 last night was that how they caught various killers <laughs> of various folk. Um, so I've got those to watch, which I'm very much looking forward to um, tonight. So yeah, I love that. And at the moment I'm watching, um, yes, my mum and dad um, um, recommended The Serpent to me. But there's, there's a lot of subtitles in that. So you have to sit and concentrate on it, I feel. Traces without the R, Annalisa, so as in like tracing paper kind of trace tracers rather than tracers, <laughs> uh, if that makes sense. Um, so, um, so yeah, so I have got that downloaded but I haven't been able to watch it because I feel like I need to obviously concentrate on the, um, on the, the subtitles so but I will definitely Julie says she's gonna have to say good night she feels she need the need to snuggle up under your weighted blanket um, night all thank you for staying on so long Julie I know it's been a long one we're almost there now you've seen you've seen the mo majority of it and you you can get an idea for what it's gonna look like but I will obviously post some pictures tomorrow for everyone because um, we're almost there now I'm just trying not to bleed all over everything now. Um, so, um, Mind Hunter on Netflix is amazing. I've watched both series of that, and they need to have another series of that really soon because I was getting into it, and then all of a sudden it went off. But I think COVID's got in the way of that. Serial killers you can't take late at night. Oh, Annalisa. It does make you it does make you wonder though, doesn't it, when you see all these things. Um I've become like an amateur psychologist, criminal psychologist, that you know, anybody on your street could be an axe murderer. <laughs> um Siobhan says she watched the second serpent by accident, so we'll be catching up. So there's a second one. I didn't even know there was a second one. Ah, that's that's very interesting. So I feel like my I've got more dimension my four my you is not dimensional enough now um which is a bit a bit annoying so i think i'm gonna have to cut another one out of some white just so that it catches up in dimension i can't i can't have it not right can we oh dear I tried my best to get those out without knocking everything off, but it didn't work. Right, so let me just move that. We can just use my little um, my little die, my cute little die cutter here for this bit. 
There is also most evil child killers, children who kill. I don't think I've seen that one. That one's definitely got my name written all over it. I put that on upside down. Look, clearly I'm ready for bed. Just, it's good job I noticed that. I don't know if it would have actually hurt my machine, but it might have done. Oof. Not my cute little die cutting machine. Um, Tin Star with Tim Roth. I haven't seen that one, you know. Why is that not wanting to go through? This is because I've talked about breaking the poor thing. Just needed to angle my plates. Oh no, why doesn't it want to go through? Hmm, that's interesting. I don't think I've ever had that issue with this machine before. It's quite, it is quite thick cardstock, this. Maybe that's why. Give it one more go. Nope, it's not going to have it. Well, there you go. My little, my little die cut machine failed me. It's going to have to go through the Gemini. That is the first time it's failed me. Okay. Jess says that she's going to have to go too. Mum says the night too because her laptop cut her off. I've got to get some sleep in. Order to look like I'm what to look like I'm working tomorrow. It's been a brilliant live day, Jo. Thank you for continuing the crafting to a second project. It's been great to craft along. Oh, thank you. You're so welcome. And I'm so grateful to you all hanging around for so long. I, I honestly can't believe that you do. <laughs> um, and I love it. Thank you so much. It's been an absolute pleasure and a joy as always, Jess. Um, so let's have a look. I honestly, um, I know because Aunt goes mad at me, I, I could stay up crafting all night and I forget to eat, I forget to drink, I forget, you know, to go to bed. <laughs> um, and that's why he hates being on, he hates it when he's on nights because I just stay up doing stuff. Oh, I've gone totally on the wonk there, haven't I? How long have I been doing that? Um, oh, that fell off. I guess it doesn't matter, does it? Because we're just sticking, we know where these are sticking to. Um, so yeah, he goes mad at me because he knows when he's on, on nights that I just stay up really late, just working, working, crafting, working. Um, I don't just, um, I can't just sit and just watch one of these shows I have to be doing something so and I think well if I'm doing something it might as well be work because work pays the bills and I'm very very lucky to be doing this job and um, particularly in the current situation so I feel like you can't stop because you know maybe if you stop it all stops that's quite quite a sad thought for me so um bedtime for Vanessa as well thank you for the inspiration payday pack packet will be hit hard <laughs> bless you um night to to Jess night to Vanessa um Lucy says anything true murder and nasty crime is for me read the book seeing the programs love it um yes I'm I'm totally with you I love all of it I haven't seen Tin Star, Alison. I can't remember if I said that. Um, I hear good things. Um, what else have I watched recently that's been good? There's been a few bits about the Zodiac Killer that I've found quite intriguing. I just love anything like that. Oh, there was a Netflix thing about... Oh, what's, what was his name? The Night Stalker. That's a, a, quite a new one. It was a, a few parts to that one um, and how they um, eventually caught up with him. But they were, they were chasing him for um, years. It wasn't just a, you know, it was an actual, it took them years to catch up with him. So we should be able to, oh, she says, carefully. And I do mean carefully because I really don't want to remove any of my card stock off the top of here. I feel like that's moved a little bit. 
it's not as central well let me tell you I'm pretty pretty excited about how that's turned out and I did wonder whether it might need some like little bits of sequins I mean does it need them I don't know if it really does but the clear sequins are just you know just add a little bit of something without adding something if you know what I mean <laughs> if you know what I mean so maybe just a couple of those are all it really needs just for that, that little bit of extra Yeah, I quite like that. A little bit of something. So let me get my um, glossy accents as my favourite for popping these down. Oh no. Do you know what? I think it's so cold in here that the, this is why things get a little bit, maybe a bit clogged up. So just grab it. A little little puke. There we go. And I have my little um I don't know if any of you managed to get hold of the little um the little magnet um hold the little die holders that we sold for a short while. I didn't have many of them. They were from an American company uh, called Twiddler's Nook. Um, and unfortunately they were just very pricey to get imported so that's why I've not not had any more um, because neither has realized just the amount of duty that would be charged when they got into the UK so it did just mean that really um, I was selling them at um, at the price that I paid for them pretty much which was fine um, but obviously that's that's not really what I'm you know, it's not doesn't make good business to do that. That doesn't pay the mortgage. So, um, so unfortunately, I couldn't couldn't restock them. But I love them, and I have mine um, next to me. And rather than on the um, on my work surface, because obviously that's taking up space on my work surface, and I need that for every blooming thing else that I've got here. <laughs> so many things um there's barely enough room for for you know for anything so the real estate on my desk is prime absolute prime so i put some um sticky tape on the back of it some um i can't can't think what it what i've used actually but i stuck it to the wall is uh, so instead of using the base that it comes with I've stuck the whole thing to the wall and now it's right next to me and I just put my little little dies that I use all the time on it and I've got my little my little pins that I use to um, unclog my uh, my glue bottles when they need it so it's really handy and it's all there and I know then I'm not gonna lose it it's out of the way so it doesn't get knocked over and it doesn't get um, you know um, doesn't fall over and get in my way which is ideal so so yeah if you've got one of those then I would definitely recommend doing that the other thing that I was thinking that you could do is possibly get a little um, maybe a little piece of um, like grey board or something and pop some magnetic tape across it Maybe die cut it into a nice shape so it looks interesting, but put some magnetic tape over it and pop that on your wall or hang it from a pegboard or something and then you can just attach um, your most used little dies to it. Just a little thought. Anywho, it, we've actually managed to complete our project. So I'm just going to move all of my other little images here to one side for the moment before I lose them it's always important to tidy up um, 
after yourself. I tidy up after every um, every live, every project, before and then before I start a new one because otherwise I just can't focus and concentrate. I have to do it. So I have got bits, all kinds of bits here that are going to need a good tidy up before I, I go to bed tonight. But then we'll have a nice clean workstation ready for tomorrow, which is what we want. So, um, I hope you've all enjoyed that. I hope you're all still, well, you know, I, I don't know if I hope you're all still awake because it is definitely bedtime. But I hope that that's been an enjoyable session for you guys. It's been enjoy enjoyable for me. I've absolutely loved making these projects. So we've got two, two projects there. I think they actually coordinate really, really well together um, as... Uh, chance would have it um i think they actually work really well um so some really cool ideas for you to use the dip the new sets um you can see how they work so well together um you know you can mix and match all of it um and you could give those both as a really cute gift and a card to someone um, I think they'd be absolutely amazed if they got something like that um, with a gift card in it. Um, obviously, the bigger you make it, the bigger card <laughs> envelope you're going to need. Um, but this is a special gift. This is for somebody special you're making this for. It's something that's going to sit on somebody's mantelpiece and look really awesome. Um, and then you've got this uh, little card that's sending some paper hugs and some happy mail. And you can take out your little message can write a little secret note on the back of there um, I'll probably have to write something rude for Anne on the back of there <laughs> um, and then uh, and then you've got uh, another really cute little card and you could still actually you could still close that because I didn't uh, I didn't stick it all the way down so you could close that if you wanted to um, but I like it um, where you can just see I've pushed it right in now and I can't get it back out there you go where you can just see the little note that's inside so there you have it, um, all done for another reveal. That's it now. I've shown you everything, I hope. I hope I haven't forgotten everything. anything. There seems like there's so much in this, this release, but um, I know you're gonna love it. And whatever you get, whatever you choose, because I know not everybody can buy everything, whatever you choose, it's all gonna work together. So um, you're not gonna go wrong, whatever you decide on. Thank you so much for staying with me right to the end. Those of you that are hardcore, die-hard crafters, you are absolutely awesome. I'll see you all tomorrow at 9am when everything goes live. Um, thank you so much for your support. And um, if I don't see you before, we'll definitely be back here next Thursday at 8 o'clock for another live. See you then, guys. See you really soon. Bye. Bye.